Hello, dear friends, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today. My name is Gabe. And I'm Andrea. We are still at the beach in Huali, and we are having fun with our friends and learning English, aren't we, Gabe? Yes, we are, and we're also going to learn some new words today. That is true. So let's begin by looking at today's key words together. Our first one is sandwich. Sandwich. The chicken sandwich has tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese on it. Ice. Ice. Linda doesn't like ice in her tea. She drinks it warm. Find out. Find out. Where is the bus stop? Let's find out and ask that man. Trust. Trust. Susan can take care of your baby. You can trust her. And we can look at these words one more time. The first one is sandwich. Sandwich. Ice. Ice. Find out. Find out. Trust. Trust. Great job, everyone. Now it's time to find out what our mission is, and I think we can trust Eddie. Well, I hope we can trust Eddie. Eddie? Um, huh? Oh, Eddie. It's my sandwich. You can't have it. O okay, Eddie. You can trust us. We won't take your sandwich. Uh, no, but we would like the mission. Oh. Yes. Okay, but you won't eat my sandwich. No, Give no, us the no. mission. The, the mission. Okay, the mission. Yes. Today's mission. Thank you. Here it is. What will Derek do after they eat? What will Derek do after they eat? We'll find out. Let's begin our lesson. I'm sorry we didn't find your watch, Derek. I'll look for it again after we eat. We'll help you, too. Thanks. Mmm, this sandwich is so good. Yes, it is. Daisy, I'm so glad you could come down from Taipei this weekend. Me, too. I've had a lot of fun today. And Derek, thanks for joining our picnic. Thanks for inviting me. Well, this looks like a great picnic on the beach. Everyone is being so nice to each other. Hey, Andrea. Yeah. Look, I got Eddie's sandwich. Gabe, Eddie is going to find out that you have it. Well, that's okay. Um, it, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Do you like this kind of sandwich? Ham mm. and cheese on this oh, sandwich? It does look like a good sandwich, Gabe. <gasps> Hey, sandwich is a key word, so let's learn it together. Sandwich. Sandwich. A sandwich is something that you eat. A sandwich has two slices of bread with something inside. It can be meat or vegetables or peanut butter. There are many different kinds of sandwiches. When I was smaller, my mom used to make me peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and they tasted really good. What kind of sandwich do you like? Now, remember, friends, just because we're on a beach and a beach might have sand, doesn't mean that there's sand in a sandwich. That's not what a sandwich is made of. No sand in a sandwich. Now, Gabe, that is a good point because if there was sand in a sandwich, it would not taste very good. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> well, friends, we also found the answer to today's mission in this conversation. The question is, what will Derek do after they eat? What will Derek do after they eat? Derek will look for his watch again after they eat. 
Do we have any more ice? My drink is warm. No, sorry. I'll go to the store and get some for you, Patty. Oh, well, I'll go with you. <gasps> that girl is pretty. Daisy would like her tan. Hey, her watch looks like mine. Really? Maybe it is yours. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's find out. Come on. Well, while Patty and Derek are going to find out if this watch is actually Derek's, we can learn these key words. The first one in this conversation is ice. Ice. When water gets so cold that it becomes hard, that's ice. Yes, and there are different kinds of ice. In our conversation, Patty asks, do we have any more ice? My drink is warm. She wants to put some small pieces of ice in her glass or in her drink so it is nice and cold. And some people like to keep their drinks cold by putting ice in their drinks. Do you like ice in your drinks, or do you like your drinks with no ice? Now, there are different kinds of ice. If it is really cold outside, then there might be ice on the road. If it snows where you are from, then it also might get icy outside. That is true. Now, friends, if you are ordering drinks, you can also say, I would like ice. Or you can say, no ice, please. That's right. Well, we have another key word here in this conversation. These are two words. Find out. Find out. When you find out something, that means you find the answer to something. When you find out about something, that means you know what it is about. For example, if I say, I don't know how to say the word ice in Chinese. Excuse me, what time is it? It's five o'clock. Thanks. That's a very nice watch. May I see it? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Patty, what are you doing? Just trust me. Do you wear your watch very often? I wear it all the time. Even today, outside in the sun? Yes. So, your skin is probably white where the watch would be? Uh, just give me my watch back. No, this isn't your watch. <sighs> well, we again see Patty solving a mystery, finding out about Derek's watch. Well, she goes up to the girl and asks to see the watch. And Gabe, what does the girl say? Well, she says, uh, okay. Patty is very polite. She says, may I see your watch? Uh, okay. And Derek says, Patty, what are you doing? And Patty says, well, she whispers, she says, just trust me, Patty knows what she is doing. And we want to know about this keyword. It is the word trust. Trust. Now, when you trust someone, that means you believe them. If they say they will do something because you trust them, you believe they will do it. And so maybe you can trust people, and you should trust people. If they are your friends, you should trust them. It is very hard to trust someone that you do not know. But Patty and Derek have met before, and so Patty wants Derek to trust her. Maybe they are friends now. They can trust each other. So it's a good phrase to learn. Just trust me. If someone is unsure or not sure of what you're doing, you can just say, just trust me. It's, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. Well, Andrea, I still have Gabe. my sandwich. 
You still have Eddie's sandwich? Yeah. He's going to find out about that. Well, sure he will, but that's okay. I'm just going to eat it right now. Gabe, Gabe, Gabe. Eddie is your friend. He trusts you. He wouldn't want you to eat his sandwich. Dre he trusts me? He trusts you. He's your friend. You're right. He does trust me. I'll be a good friend and, and give it back to him. Inspector E. Hi, everyone. It's Mrs. E here. This week, our friends are at the beach. Who does Patty meet at the beach? Do you remember? Let's look again. Sorry to bump into you. Sorry to bump into you. Sorry to bump into you. Patty sees Derek at the beach. Derek works at a tea house. Patty went to it in January. At the beach, Patty and Derek didn't look where they were going. So they walked into each other. In English, when you walk into someone or something, you can say you bumped into it or you bumped into someone. We usually say you bumped into something or someone by accident. You didn't mean to bump into the person or the thing. Bump also has another meaning. When you see someone you didn't expect to see, you can say you bumped into him or her. Here, you didn't walk into the person, but you met them where you didn't plan to see them. You two bumped into each other. You can also say you ran into each other. To run into has a similar meaning. Here's an example. I bumped into my college friend this afternoon. The last time I saw him was 10 years ago. Mr. E, I didn't expect to see you. It's nice to bump into you. All right, friends, it's time to go. I hope you use what you learned. See you next time. Remember, use it or lose it. This is Mrs. E, signing off. Conversation Replay. Find your watch, Derek. I'll look for it again after we eat. We'll help you too. Thanks. Mmm, this sandwich is so good. Yes, it is. Daisy, I'm so glad you could come down from Taipei this weekend. Me too. I've had a lot of fun today. And Derek, thanks for joining our picnic. Thanks for inviting me. Do we have any more ice? My drink is warm. No. Sorry. I'll go to the store and get some for you, Patty. Oh, well, I'll go with you. That girl is pretty. Daisy would like her tan. Hey, her watch looks like mine. Really? Maybe it is yours. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's find out. Come on. Excuse me, what time is it? It's five o'clock. Thanks. That's a very nice watch. May I see it? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Patty, what are you doing? Just trust me. Do you wear your watch very often? I wear it all the time. Even today? Outside in the sun? Yes. So, your skin is probably white where the watch would be? Just give me my watch back. No, this isn't your watch. Calendar phrase. Welcome back, everyone. Now, Gabe, can we go to the beach today? Andrea, why should we go to the beach today? Our friends are at the beach. We've been talking about the beach and learning about the beach. So can we go to the beach today? Andrea, we can't go to the beach today, but that sounds like today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. It is. Can we go to the beach today? Can we go to the beach today? Now, if you want to go to the beach or you want to share this idea with your friends, 
Just say our calendar phrase. Can we go to the beach today? Please, I want to go swimming in the beach. Oh, that sounds great. Well, can we watch our calendar phrase skit? That's a pretty good idea. Let's take a look. Can we go to the beach today? Can we go to the beach today? John and Dan want to go to the beach. Can we go to the beach today? I don't know. I think it is too cold. It's not that cold. It will be fun. Can we go to the beach today? Marie, swimming in cold water isn't fun. The water won't be that cold. Can we go to the beach today? I want to stay home. Fine. I'll tell John and Dan that you didn't want to come. Wait, you can't go by yourself with those boys. I'm coming with you. Can we go to the beach today? Can we go to the beach today? Welcome back. Well, Eddie, are you finished your sandwich? Yes, I just finished my sandwich, and it was. Delicious. Well, mm -hmm. we're glad, Eddie. So, can you now give us the question of the day? Okay, the question of the day: Do you like picnics? Why or why not? Do you like picnics? Why or why not? Picnics are very fun. They can be a great time to get together with other people. So yes, I do like picnics. And you can eat sandwiches when you're on a picnic. Well, friends, thank you all for joining us today here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English, English can, can be fun. Bye bye. Goodbye.